What's good, YouTube family, man? We back with another video, man. You know, it's a new year, new videos, you know. We about to run it up with these videos. Um, with that being said, you know, uh, we're going to be speaking about Lil TJ, our favorite rapper, man. Little TJ, man. He was arrested today for possession of illegal firearms in New York City. Um, I believe either on his way to Ice Spice video shoot or at Ice Spice video shoot. Um, it's, re it's real ironic and crazy because um, it seems like somebody called the police on him, man, knowing that he had that, uh, had them firearms with him in the vehicle. They said he was in a Cadillac Escalade. I don't know if he was driving. I guess he was just in there being um, driven around or whatever. And I don't know what happened. Maybe the tents was too dark. Maybe they had one license plate. I don't know. But he is arrested. I'm pretty sure they might give him bail and he's definitely gonna be able to make the bail. That's not too much to worry about. But um, that just, this this whole little situation with this um, with this cat just goes to show you, man, these rappers don't be living what they really be talking in their rhymes, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know his circumstances. I don't know his pockets. I don't know, no, not, nothing like that. But what I do know is that if you a rapper and you got shot seven times, and I'm saying it almost lost your life to this, um, to these streets and all of that, I'm saying, I would at least think you would get armed security, paid armed security or something, bodyguards or something, at least one. That's legally able to carry a firearm. You understand what I'm saying? So you don't put yourself in these type of situations where you got to get locked up and get booked for four firearms they found in a, in a Cadillac Escalade. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's very unfortunate that he had to go through this, but um, at the same time, I kind of get it. You can't, you can't, you can't blame this kid because he already got shot seven times and he's he's here. He's still here living. You know what I'm saying? To talk about it and 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 you know, shed light on his situation that happened to him. But at the end of the day, man, you gotta be smart. You can't be out here moving reckless when you're in the industry, like. It's just, it's simple, you know what I'm saying? And it goes hand in hand, man. It's not rocket science, man. I always say this about a lot of things in life, you know what I'm saying? And um, like I say all the time, if I if I was able to figure stuff out and do things and get and be able to change my life and, you know what I'm saying? Look at stuff in a more positive way and, and, and try to get positive outcomes of, of every aspect, of everything I do in my life, anybody could do it. I'm saying it's not rocket science it might take a little longer for other people than, than I'm saying other ones but it's not rocket science man all y'all up and coming drill rappers all y'all up and coming whatever y'all are rappers once y'all make it man make sure y'all invest in armed security bodyguards there's nothing wrong with that once you made it you made it now you gotta move even smarter. You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. He's probably already out already. You know what I'm saying? He's a rapper, he's famous, so they probably gonna either be all on his body, sucking him, or they gonna probably be like, they don't care who he is. Uh uh, they gonna treat him just like a regular inmate, everybody else that come through the central bookings in New York City. You know what I'm saying? So. It is what it is, man. Y'all up and come, y'all up and coming drill rappers that that really want to be a rapper and really want to focus your life on that, man. Be smart, man. Don't make stupid mistakes. Learn from 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 these dudes that's already in the industry that make mistakes all day, every day. I'm saying, get it together or forget it forever, little TJ, man. I mean, you're a good dude from my perspective, man. I don't care about what anybody got to say about you. I never met you, so I don't judge nobody, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Just move smart, my brother. Um, higher security, man. You got the money for it, man. Well, at least that's what we see and think. You know what I'm saying? So, high security, higher arm security, higher bodyguards, bro. And stay out the mix, man. You know what I'm saying? You here for a reason, obviously, brother, man.
You got hit seven times and you still hear a lot to talk about it, man. Go start talking to these kids in these streets, man, and change their mindset, you know what I'm saying? So they ain't got to go through those type of situations. You know what I mean? Um, but at the end of the day, you a grown-ass man, you know what I'm saying? You're going to make your own decisions, and, you know what I mean, to each his own. But I hope you learn from these past, last past two situations that you've been in, little TJ. You know what I'm saying? In my eyes, you cool, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I don't care what anybody got to say about you. I don't want off nobody batteries, none of that. I don't, I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> for all the youth that come across this video, man, pay attention to your circle before they hurt you too, man. Like Hassan Campbell always say, man, pay attention to your circle before they hurt you, man. You never know, man. Anybody in that circle could have called police on him and then lined him up. I'm saying so with that being said man um pay attention man get about these streets man the streets don't love nobody man but uh i'm gonna catch y'all on the next drop man stay tuned there make sure y'all hit the subscribe button like drop a comment all of that turn on your post notifications so when I do drop new videos y'all could get them ASAP man run them views back up the way they supposed to be the way they was before I took my little break off of YouTube but now I'm back I'm saying I'm gonna be dropping videos I mean I got some more jail stories I got a lot of jail stories actually um, I think I'm gonna make a video of how we used to eat and what we used to eat how we used to chef it up you know what I'm saying so just stay tuned then man I'm back and that's it, man. We, I'm going, I'm going all the way in, man. Be safe out there, man, and uh, be easy. Peace.